Hey guys, Mad Cat Malcolm is here, and well, kind of wanted to do a after action review for parts two and part three. Um, I think they're getting better. I really do got to work on the speaking part. Like obviously, spe writing stuff and speaking it is like. I mean, I don't have any trouble writing this stuff down. It's just getting this part right here to make it come out in one coherent sentence. I've been using Audacity to cut out the pregnancy pauses, but. I don't know, it's getting better. I'm enjoying it very much, so. Um, part four. Yeah, part four is going to be the Summer Babe EP. It's really a single, but I'm going to cover that because I do want to stick chronologically as best I can. But as a side note to this, I just wanted to bolster some of my pavement street cred here. So, I've got a list over here on the other screen that I'm going to bring up. And this is all the official releases on the Matador store. So, it doesn't really cover... Uh, Slay Tracks, Demolition Plot, or Perfect Sound, or even the Summer Babe uh, single. So, I don't have any of those anyway, so we're not even going to have to talk about them. But we will talk about uh, the stuff that I do have here, so let's get started. The first thing I have is, well, I guess we guess I do have Westing. I have Westing. That comprises all the... Stuff that I just mentioned, Slay Tracks, uh, God, Brain Fart, Demolition Plot, Perfect Sound, and uh, Summer Babe. So that has all those. So I have that. But starting off on this list, Slant and Enchant It. Of course I have that. That's a full record. And that's it. So I have that. Next on the list is Trigger Cut Plus Two. Have it on CD, CD Single. So I got it. Watery Domestic is the next one. Got it on CD. Love it. And this part's going to blow your mind. I bought this when it back in the 90s. Got it on vinyl. $6.99 back in the day. Oh, yes, Watery Domestic. There it is right there. Got it. Try not to break my records here. Um, what's next on the list? Cut Your Hair, CD. Got it. That's a good one, too. That's got camera and stare on it. But we'll, we'll save that for another video. Uh, Haunt You Down, I do not have that. I was looking it up. It's pretty expensive. I will get it eventually, but I don't have it right now. Next one is Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain. Of course I have that. And I plan on, I got a little bit of extra cash flow this week, so I plan on buying the rest of the full lengths on uh, vinyl. So I'll have that whole set probably by next week sometime. But now it's like 100 degrees outside. Do I really want to order vinyl in the summertime? Gold Sounds. Got it on CD. Got it on 45. And look at that price. three ninety nine. Bought that one back in the 90s. Next next up is Rattled by the Rush. Got the CD single. Got it on vinyl. $3.99. Again, probably bought those both the same day. This one has a False Scorpion and Easily Fooled. Oof. Like I said, I don't want to say too much about these things because we're going to get down to brass tacks on them eventually. Next up is Wowie Zowie. Full, rec full length record. Has one of the coolest pictures ever on the back. Pavement is thread. And I want, I've always wanted that shirt. But. Got that one on vinyl too. What is up? So this is. This is me just. Uh, getting some pavement cred here. I saw him at concert. Only one time. Sucks. Um, all right, so after Wowie Zowie is Father to a Sister of Thought. Got it on CD. There's the back of it. And that one has Chris Craft and Muscle Rock. Those are both good ones. Uh, Pacific Trim, I do not have. That one's expensive as well. I have the songs for Pacific Trim, and we'll talk about that in just a few. But 
I don't have that. So, so far on this list, I do not have the first four that were released before Slanted and Enchanted and Haunt You Down, and now I don't have Pacific Trim. But I do have Stereo, Domino release. And this is a good one, too. This has a West Deacon Drum and Winner of the... And Winner of the is a Spiral song. Um, I'm mixing up my singles with full lengths here. All right, so after Stereo was the full release of Bright in the Corners. This is the album that got me into Pavement. I know it's a little late in the game, but I love that back. I want that. I want that as a poster, man. I want that so bad as a poster. Even if it has the lyrics on it, I mean the song titles, I want that so bad. But wait, there's more. I got it on vinyl. Of course I got it on vinyl. It's my favorite one. It's my first one. It's my introductory to pavement. My introductions. Alright, what do we got next? Bright in the corner. Shady Lane. Which one though? Shady Lane Domino release. That is this one, I guess. Boom. And then this one is the one that has specific trim on it. You can see it right there at the bottom. It says Pacific Trims. No, you can't. I'm a liar. There it is. Just believe me. You have to believe me. You have no choice. And then I do not have Stereo Jukebox Single Promo. But I have Shady Lane. The other one. That's the other release of Shady Lane. And this one has a lot of good B-sides. But that other one had uh, Pacific Trim mixed in with it. Um, after Shady Lane, a four song sampler, don't have it, but I do have Spit on a Stranger, I only have the Matador release, I do not have the Domino release on that, so there's Spit on a Stranger, but wait, there's more, there's Spit on a Stranger as well, on vinyl, got them both, so, I know you guys are impressed, probably a lot of wet underwears out there, and I apologize. But I do not have the giveaway CD promo. I'm not sure if they mean this. This is the, the giveaway uh, CD-ROM. Maybe it is the promo. It came with Terra Twilight. So maybe I do have that. And it says right on there. Interactive CD for pavement. Because that came with the next one. Terra Twilight. Pavement's final album. And this is when I seen them in concert. I seen them in Philly right before they broke up. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I got off my ass and went and seen them. All right, um, next one up is uh, Major Leagues. They got the Major Leagues. Who wants Major Leagues? You want Major Leagues. I got both Domino and Matador releases of Major Leagues. Both of them. Both of them have the same exact songs on them, but I'm a sucker for variants. I'm sorry. And the next thing I have isn't even on the list, which makes me think that this list isn't complete for Domino. And it's Carrot Rope CD2, Carrot Rope CD1. Got them. Of course I got them. They both got different B-sides, and that's why I got them. But we'll cover those in a future date, too. And also, Slanted and Enchanted, Lux and Redux, stuff above that, that's after the band broke up. So I'm not even going to talk about any of that. I have some of them, but that's not really what I want to talk about. The last thing I want to talk about that was right above that is the Pavement Slow Century movie, documentary, thingamajigger. And I got it. Nailed it. So I hope this has given me a slight bit of Pavement Street cred. I know I don't read the best. Well, not read. I don't speak the best on my uh, videos when I'm recording myself. I'm so self-conscious. I'm here by myself and I'm so self-conscious about it. But yeah, man. I love the paves. I love pavement. Anyway, thank you for coming along. I plan on doing the Summer Babe one this weekend sometime and then getting right into Slanted and Enchanted. That's the one I really want to get into is a big one, you know, something that has a little bit of meat to it. These ones with like four songs and six songs, and then some of them are just like 20-second instrumentals. Where do you, what do you do with that? So I really want to get into the, the good stuff. And look, you can see uh, Dagger Eye's uh, Zelda cab behind me. I built that for her. That house, oops, ooh. that house is all of her uh, Zelda merch. 
And then my cabinet that I built is over here, the Nintendo. <whistles> and there's Spock. Oh, Spock sneaking in at the last second there. Anyway, I'm Mad Cat Malcolmus, and I appreciate it. Rangers for life. What? Peace.